everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be doing a full face of nothing new so uh, it's gonna be a lot of pink <laughs> so my nails like I'll paint in girly colors pink red white so that's the look I'm gonna be creating today is like a really pretty pink look and I'm really excited I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's go ahead and get started. So for primer today, I'm going to be using the Smashbox, the original photo finish, photo finish smooth and blur primer. I'm just taking that much. You can't really see it because it's clear. And I put my hair back already. So I might have to put some more back. Oh. I love the way this primer feels. And what this does, this primer helps, right? it helps to blur out your pores. So you look really, in photos, you look Photoshop. And it helps in real life blurs don't stand out the pores don't stand out I can't talk today okay I like this primer and it's for all skin types and it helps yeah to smooth skin blurs flaws and helps makeup last hours and hours which is true lightweight and oil free contains vitamin A and E and more I don't know if I've used this primer on my channel. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but I really like this primer. And I like, and for a foundation, I don't think I've used this on my channel. Uh, this is, this is the It Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Physical Sunscreen Foundation. <laughs> I am in the shade Fair. And I like that it comes in a pump. I like that it's SPF 50, so it protects your skin. And you only need like one, two pumps, and that's enough for your full face. So I'm just gonna mix it on the back of my hand, using it as like my palette. And it actually, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It smells more, I don't know how to describe the scent, but all I know is that it smells good. <laughs> Use the, I'll get the rest of what's on the back of my hand onto the brush. Use that on my nose. I have a mirror right here. So now we got that on. I'm gonna use for concealer. I'm gonna use the uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm in the. Sh I have the color Fair Five. Can't believe this is like one year already. It's crazy. I'm just gonna do a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit on the forehead, a little on the chin, and a little bit down the nose. Real Techniques contour brush. I like using these type of brushes for concealer. And I love how affordable it is. And it gives really good coverage too. All the products I'm using in today's video are favorites of mine. Um, of course, if you don't like these products, you do not have to use them. Just use whatever you have in your collection that brings you joy. That's what makeup is about, is that it's fun and it brings you joy and it makes you feel good and you feel like you look better. 
And then next to set all of this in, no surprise, I'm gonna be using my number seven translucent perfect light loose powder. It's hypoallergenic. Um, I love this powder because it blends evenly into the skin and it gives such a nice finish to my skin. It has vitamin E in it and provitamin B5 to take care and condition and it also has a hyaluronic acid to keep the skin hydrated. So it's an all around great powder. And then for my powder brush, of course, of course, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Cosmetics powder brush. This is like a loose powder, so it does go kind of everywhere kind of like if you get a big if you get a lot on the powder brush it will go like onto your shirt or your pants but it, it you can just swipe it away and it goes away it doesn't stain or anything I'm gonna move on to the eyes first and for eyeshadow, this is an unpopular opinion. A lot of people did not like this. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Back Talk palette. I actually really like this palette. I love that it has both eyeshadows and blush and highlighters on them. And I don't mind the mirror, actually. It does um, slide out, but I like that I can hold it like this and do my eyeshadows so I can like really see what I'm doing. Um, and you can also hold it like this. Be using today, and it's um, this is called Backtalk because Backtalk is one of Urban Decay's best-selling uh, lipsticks. Oh, I should say this is Urban Decay Backtalk. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start with the color called. Whoop. with the color called Three Sheets all over the lid. And then for the crease color, I'm gonna go into the shade called Back Talk. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number seven brush. Just coat that with that color. And just put that on the And then I'm going to go into back top, this really pretty rosy color. Okay, so that's how the back top color looks like. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is one, um, this one is by Wet n Wild. It's the P10. And I'm gonna go into the shade called WTF um, color. It's kind of like a warm brown. And I'm gonna use that on the like outer portion of my lid. What I'm going to do now is just take like a clean blending brush and just blend that out. I'm going to go into that, back to the back talk color, this one right here, and just blend that into a crease. I'm going to Bring this on to the lower lash line as well. I'm 
And now for the all over the lid cover, co cover, color. I want to take first the shade called shade and then the shade called <laughs> attitude. Use my BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. Go into the shade called shade. So you can also do this as well. And I'm gonna focus that on the outer part. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Attitude. Put that on the inner part. And that is how I'm looking so far. Really pretty. I think I'm gonna take the shade. I'm gonna take this shade called Bare and mix in a little bit of three sheets. I'm gonna take my XO Beauty pencil brush. I said curve, right? Or no, bare. So that's how the inner corner is looking. It's really pretty and bright. And so for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna take the same pencil brush I used on like the outer corner. I'm gonna get WTF and use that on my lower lash line. And that just adds depth. I'm gonna take my blinding brush and just whoop, blend, softly blend everything together so there's no harsh line. Oh, just put myself on. <laughs> and that is the eye look complete. <laughs> what you can do is take a little bit of concealer. A brush like this and just coat the tops with concealer and that can help you like clean up the edges I'm just using the ColourPop the concealer that I used earlier So I'm gonna, now that we've done all that blending, I'm gonna just intensify that purple a little bit more, this shade I called Shade. Okay. So moving on now to mascara, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. See, I really like this mirror. I like that it comes out because it makes for like eyeshadow and mascara to go, it makes it easier. I actually like this mascara a lot. It looks so good. This is what the lawn looks like. It's really nice and flexible. So it makes for like those hard to reach places easier to access. You guys, 
Can you see the difference? It's so awesome. It's so pretty. And now I'm gonna do the other eye. I believe this is actually the um, campaign mascara makes your lashes look really long. <laughs> but it still gives you volume. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Natural Face Highlight, Blush, and Bronzing Veil Face Palette. So this actually has blushes, bronzers, and highlight in them. I'm going to use the um, bronzer today, Ooh. and I'm going to use the blush from the back top palette and the highlight there from there too. But you can definitely use just this. I take my BH Cosmetics number four, and this is I'm gonna go into Sun Sunny Honey. Use this to warm up my complexion, and it has a really nice mirror too. And you can tell I like this. <laughs> because of oh, how dirty it is. <laughs> so for blush, take this out to show you guys the colors. I think I want to take this shade. Which one? What the heck? I'm gonna mix these two. I'm going here. And here, and use that as my blush color. Such a pretty color for blush. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the shade called Party Foul. I'm going to use my Sigma FO3 High Cheekbone Highlight. And look how pretty. Oh, we're going really yellow. What's going on? There we go. There we go. I mean, it's so pretty. Done with the face, so I can let my hair down. Whoop. Brush it out. I think this is an older product. It's the It Brow Powder Universal Taupe brow product. Uh, use that to fill in my brows. What's cool about this product is that it has biotin and keratin in it to help promote uh, hair growth. And then it's like a triangle at one end and then it's just a regular one at one end. So you can do like, you can use a triangle end to like do that precise line and then go like this to fill in like natural strokes, like natural hair strokes. That's one brow done. Just gonna use that spoolie and spoolie in the product. Okay, so I'm gonna do that other uh, brow off camera and I'm also gonna um, exfoliate my lips and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back and I got 
brows done. I got, I exfoliated my lips and I'm just gonna put some lip balm on. I'm using the Pacifica lip balm. I love this lip balm. And then for lip color, I'm gonna use a ColourPop lip lipstick. I think I'm gonna take the shade called the Layover. I'm sorry, find it. <laughs> Oh, there's layover. Such a pretty nude. These are such good lipsticks by ColourPop. And now for setting spray. I'm gonna my hair back real quick for that. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1. Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. This is how nice the mist is. I love how refreshing that feels. All right, you guys, so that completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you will I hope you will consider subscribing and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a great night or day wherever you are.